police chases, robberies, and stabbings. Despite what many see on television news, most citizens follow the law. But here at Milken, rules are broken every day, including right here in the library. Many people have noticed students breaking rules, including Milken's very own librarian, David Cates. The first one is eating food in the library. The second one is sitting on the ground and blocking books. The third is sitting on tables. And the fourth is talking too loudly. Mr. Cates adds that breaking rules is not only morally wrong, but it can also be dangerous. One of many examples of this is when students sit on tables instead of chairs. So, you know, oh, wait, wait, oh! <laughs> See? Another broken rule seen here at Milken is when students travel in the elevators unattended. But many students complain they don't know this is against the rules. A lot of the students that do take the elevators, they do so because they see another student take the elevator. Students are also eating in the Dean's Hall when they are not supposed to be, and they are also leaving trash on a campus that is supposed to be clean. But the most common broken rule at Milken is the failure to comply with the dress code. People are not being very modest, even though we have signs all over saying clearly what it is. So why are you out of dress code today? Because it's very comfortable. And with the rigors of junior year, one less thing to worry about is significant. So why are students yeah, breaking exactly. rules? Broken the answer is simple. If it's not being enforced, who's to say the rule really exists? Next year, as students enter Milken, they will have to follow a new dress code. One where collars like this one here will be mandatory. So will Milken students be able to comply with this new rule? Well, only time will tell. Reporting for the Milken Video News, I'm Aitel Wallace.